Good morning. It's another uh, <clears throat> beautiful day here in Washington State. I am up and at them. I'm headed out to Lake. Not sure yet. We'll uh, see you when we get there. Lake looks good, looks nice and calm. Got everything loaded up into the yak. So let's get out there. Okay, good morning guys. We are out here on beautiful Lake X, hunting for some trout. Thinking about doing a catch and cook tonight, y'all. This is what we're gonna be using today. This is my seven foot light, Abu Garcia Silver Max, paired up to a Shimano Sahara 1000 size reel. Hopefully you guys are seeing all that. And starting off with the old Atomic Teaser. So alright, we're out here, I showed you the gear we're going to be using probably gonna do catch and cook today so my goal is to get two good eaters if I can do that that'll be a mission success bring them home and cook them up for you guys so let's just hope the uh, the fish are biting we recently had a full moon two nights ago and we'll see how that's gonna affect fishing today so if all else fails I also brought my uh, my seven foot medium bass rod, my casting rod, uh, with me, with the Shimano SLX paired up to it, and might try to beat up the banks for some bass. I got no real hopes of catching, mm, I hate to say that, but it's kind of the truth. Either way, I'll get some more practice in casting with that new reel. We are hooked up, guys. Morning, big boy. Thank you. All right, we got our first uh, fish of the day, guys. You're going home. I always like to bleed them right away. Just makes the meat taste better later on. So I'll let them bleed out in the net and then throw them in the old dead well. One nice little stalker trout to start us out. And in the bucket he goes. That is the beginnings of dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, y'all, first fish in the books. Nice little eater size. We are hooked up again, y'all. There we go. That's a pretty good one, guys. Let's 
think we're gonna let this one go. Yep. He's just a little on the small side. There he goes. All right. That's a good way to start off the day, guys. Two trout in 10 minutes. And back out there we go. I think I'm going to leave the camera running this time because it seems like every time I get a bite, it's right when I turn the camera off. Try to get some on, on film for you guys. <coughs> Fart. That was a good bite and I missed it. I just saw some surface activity. Maybe things are kicking up. I might switch up to a spinner or a spoon. I would love to get on that bite today. That would be amazing. This one's a good one. There we go. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's a better one. Easy, easy. Let me get my glove off and I'll get you unplugged. There we go. That's a good fish, guys. Calm down. You're coming home with me. You are coming home with me. You look like you're going to eat real good. Bonked. And bleeding. And oh, I got some trout blood on me. We are hooked up again, guys. Yeah. 
you didn't like the net. Come on, big bruiser. Come on in. Join the party. Join the party. Woo! Good net. Oh boy, this one's got some freaking fire in them. Oh, that's a beast right there, guys. Look at that thing. Yeah, boy. like that. Blood fish. That's how you do it. It's not pretty, but it's the most humane way. I am full of blood. All right, we're off the water. Let's take a quick look at these trout. One, two, and the little guy. Good meat haul. Haven't done it in a while. Usually play the catch and release game, you guys know that, but I'm hungry for some trout. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. That was a blast. Uh, I'm on a time constraint, like I said earlier, so I gotta get going now. But caught three fish. Caught four fish, kept three. And that's going to be dinner for me and my dad tonight. So I am super stoked about that. They're good, good size eaters. Not too big, not too small. About the average size here at Lake X. So uh, time to hit the road. See you when we get home, guys. Hey, guys. Home now. I'm going to get these fish all cleaned up and filleted. And uh, we'll see you after that. All right, I hope you can see me there. So I'm gonna be using my uh, Mora knife to clean these bad boys up. Not a sponsored video by any stretch of the imagination, but I just wanted to share with you guys that I absolutely love these knives. They're worth checking out. That's it, that's three clean trout. Now I'm gonna do a fillet job on them, get the meat off them, and uh, get back to you then. All right guys, got them all filleted up, processed, ready to eat, ready to cook, should I say. We're not, we're not eating sushi here. I'm gonna cook these up later tonight. Um, yeah, see you then. Hey y'all, I've decided how I'm going to cook these bad boys. Uh, I'm going to throw those fillets in some tin foil. Throw some slices of butter on top, some seasonings, wrap them up, and throw them on the grill. Uh, I'm also going to be cooking some broccoli and some biscuits as a side, so it should be a pretty good meal. Stay tuned.
Okay, so here's what we're looking at, y'all. Just gonna lay out four pieces of tin foil, and then plop the uh, fillets right on top of there. Throw some butter and some seasonings. Wrap them all up. Pop them on the grill, and uh, we should be good to go. Cue the time lapse. Alright, we got our fillets all dusted down with Old Bay, some garlic salt, and a little bit of black pepper. Throw the butter on top of the fillets, wrap them up, and they'll be good to go. There is our prepped fillets all wrapped up in the foil. Two, three, four. Getting the grill warming up and we'll pop them on there. Whew. All right, we got the grill going. We're gonna get her up to 350 and then we'll pop these bad boys on. We are currently sitting at just about 250, so almost there. There we go. Just like that, we're cooking. Okie dokie, we're at 350. I got the fillets in, they're cooking. Just gotta maintain that temperature, that's the key. All right, we'll do a quick check on them, see that they're not leaking. Oh yeah, that's coming along real nice. What do you think, Pike? Smell good? Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's check on them again. There's the finished product, folks. Looks 
good. We got that. Some biscuits. And some broccoli. Whew. That was some good food. That turned out really, really well. Pretty easy recipe. Anybody could do it. Hopefully I showed you effectively how to, how to throw that together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.